web-based browser here, we can see a variety of different sensors that were all connected to uh, our Industry 4 solution via IO-Link. Uh, for example, we've got this contrast sensor, and on the fly, I can tell it where to look at uh, a print mark on the job, or I can tell it to look at a specific color, and all this information can be transferred across the network. So I'll set it, tell it to pull up on the mark, and we'll see it only detects, only detects on the black mark, I'll put it into a job colour and say red. So it's worth getting contact now. Yeah, we only get an output on the red on the red colour down here. Yeah, all done on the fly, so we can change jobs, batch size of one, all of the uh, the buzzwords are all applicable here. Good afternoon, my name is Mike Reese, business development manager for Emerson. What we're talking about today is the industrial internet of things. And one of the things that we have available straight away is the smart pneumatics monitor, which can take the analytics from your process and you put that into real time information that you can use, i.e. on the display board we have behind us or onto your network system. This will give us instantly the life expectancy of the valves. So every time this is operated, it will give you a, a, a removal of one cycle and that will tell the operator when the predicted lifetime will end so they can put this into plan maintenance so we don't have un unscheduled downtime from the machines. Also with the cylinder travel, we can measure the distance of piston seal travel and also the velocity of cylinders along with the air consumption in any particular part of the plant. So this is giving real life analytics to your process to allow you to prevent unscheduled downtimes. Hi, I just want to show you one of our smart sensors that we should go on the PPMA stand here at the NEC. This is our universal advanced capabilities uh, sensor. It really is one of our sort of uh, industry four enabled uh, enablers. It really allows you to get some sort of data and condition based monitoring out of the sensor. Um, so what we can do, first of all, we can actually set the sensor up into four different modes. Diffuse mode, background suppression mode, through beam mode or standard diffuse mode. At uh, the minute, we've just got on our little visualization HMI that display, it's in diffuse sensor mode, uh, and we can get all the lifetime data out of the sensor. Uh, there's a temperature monitored inside there. Um, we can work out the strength of the LED emitter coming out of it, so we can get real lifetime diagnostics from the sensor. This little slide on the front here is actually imitating a dirty lens on the front. So when I move it over, you can see the XX, XX gain on the HMI, moves up indicating that we've got a dirty lens on there so we can set a threshold and send a message a text message an email sound an alarm uh, to the maintenance uh, team if I want to change mode on here we've just got a little RFID sensor on the side and I change it to the next RFID sensor you can see it thinking changing reads over this sends a signal down the three-wire connector to our island port to the PLC back down to the sensor and it's now changed it into diffuse background suppression mode. So we can really get, if you want to get on the fly, format changes. And now we're measuring in uh, background suppression mode from the sensor. We can also do counting functions inside. So at the minute, the sensor's counting itself. So none of this is going back to the PLC. Uh, and we get a, a counter in there. We can do over speed monitor, under speed monitor. And then essentially all of this from one sensor based on IO link. So here we have a, a live demonstration of our Industry 4 uh, products. Here we have a, a dashboard which shows you a direct link to our uh, warehouse uh, operation at the head office. So you see these devices are actually uh, in our warehouse here, connected and working as part of the uh, logistics operation. And we can dial in into each ind individual device via this uh, dashboard uh, here and find out the data on, uh, on each individual device, not only what is it doing, but also information about the uh, device itself in a, in a real live Industry 4 uh, application. So you can see it's done using Microsoft Azure Cloud, so we can uh, take the data both from standard optical sensors via IO Link to Profinet, or barcode readers and the positioning systems with a direct Profinet interface.
Hi, so uh, I'm Tom B. I'm one of the engineers for Keyence in the UK. Uh, Keyence, we're one of the world's largest manufacturers of sensor, inspection, measurement, microscope, vision products uh, globally. Um, massive innovator in the market with 70% of our products being world first. Uh, Industry 4.0 is sort of at the core of everything we do. All of our products are networkable and pretty much everything has condition monitoring built into it. Industry 4.0 is really about making sure that all of our machines are as smart as possible and that we know exactly what's going on. So for example, if we're using one of the vision systems and we're inspecting, say, the quality of prints uh, for date codes, we can give alarms out before the actual print uh, becomes too bad. So as it starts to fade or maybe as the inkjet marker starts to get clogged up and you want to monitor that the text is still readable, but in order to do preventive maintenance, get that information, that's all possible. Same with the barcode readers, same with all the sensors. Most of our sensors can be uh, used on like IO Link or any of your standard PLC comms, such as like Ethernet IP, Profinet, etc. Uh, and with those, again, you can do condition monitoring on the sensors themselves. If you've got a uh, retroreflective sensor and dust is building up on the reflector, you can actually get to that just in time to wipe it before you actually need to. Uh, most of them, of course, we actually make pretty robust, so you don't need to worry about that as much, but we try and make it as smart as possible. Um, but Industry 4.0 really is uh, it's, it's what we're all about. And uh, hopefully, if you chat to us, we can help you out.